everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Middle Earth. I want to thank you all so much for the support and love you showed on the previous episode. It was actually overwhelming and I seriously didn't expect to receive all that love and support. It really made my week and encouraged me to create even more and better content. And as a thanks to all of you, I want to make a tribute, something that will be remembered forever and I need to fix that so you can see. So I'm gonna put the names of all the supporters here in our world and on every episode I will put some names until we reach uh, 100 names then we can make something for those 100 names and I would like some suggestions so please make sure to drop down like on the comments some suggestions some suggestions some suggestions to what can we make for these uh, hundred names maybe I uh, like a monument or like a status or something where we can put all these hundred names because I can tell you that I am determined and I'm not stopping until we reach hundreds of thousands of subscribers and why not millions so these will be the, ve the very first OGs of uh, supporters of this channel perfect so of course the very first name I will put is Morticia because uh, she's my wife of course um, then Raphael and Cabello C Cable C I don't know and Carter then Dicehead the Dark Mudflaps and Snowy of course and Grook GG and finally 50 so now let's start the episode and hello everyone and welcome again so on this episode we're gonna prepare for what we're gonna build next um, so I'm thinking of building a mine and it won't be any normal regular mine no 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 it will be a dwarf inspired mine um, like our our own mines of Moria so it will be really great um, but for this episode we're gonna prepare for that um, because you know if we're gonna mine we're gonna need efficiency four at least we're gonna need uh, haste two so that's what we will do on this episode so first thing I'm gonna need is to build an iron farm so I gathered all my resources and I'm gonna start building the iron farm here which is uh, close to my base so why we need an iron farm is of course for iron and why we need iron because we're gonna need haste too and we will need a beacon and it needs to be uh, an iron beacon because that's the uh, easiest uh, thing to farm so let's lure this uh, zombie here come here zombie perfect and now for the villagers i'm not sure if this will work oh oh yes it is working actually really great i i saw it on a video but i didn't expect it to work now the third villager let's lure it here perfect and the farm is working up and running um i really like it actually it's very easy to build you don't need a name tag you don't basically need a lot of things um I'll, the link of the tutorial it's down below so you can check it out to build it yourself but i don't want to make it and keep it like this um we need to make it fancier because um it's 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 looking ugly actually so Let's try something. Perfect. Um, I really like how it turned to be. I made it look like a, a buried, ruined, old fortress. You can see like uh, there is uh, like it's ruined. Um, there is some rocks that are dropping here. Um, it's uh, chaotic and buried in the ground like you can create a lure for this um, like it was an old civilization and they built a castle it was buried and ruined uh, it, it looks really great actually I'm really happy with how it turned out to be now for the second farm which will be a glow lichen farm um, because I will need glow lichen for a lot of things um, because it makes things look uh, cooler it lights up a place where like you can put it on mines and stuff instead of tortures to not uh, like to stop uh, mobs from spawning um but i need some bone meal so let's grab some from the nether and boom it's working like a charm amazing let's see how much we're gonna get switch it off and 
Ooh, it, it, it's good actually. So let's place down some uh, some glue like it. It adds some texture. It makes things look more ruined, you know, like a uh, kind of a fungi or something growing on, uh, on 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 the build and it's glowing so that's that's cool um, I really like this glow lichen a lot so for the third farm I'm gonna need a lot of glass so that's why I'm ruining this beautiful beach here um, then we need to smelt all that uh, glass so let's make a super smelter Thankfully, I have an iron farm. Otherwise, I don't know how could I get these hoppers. So, perfect. And the farm is good and running. Actually, not, not a farm, but the, uh, the super smelter. So, let's put all the sand here. So, the next farm I'm planning to build is actually a sugarcane and uh, bamboo farm. And I will need a lot of glass for the farm. So that's why I built this uh, super smelter and it's working really great and I made it look like a giant furnace um, you know to make it fancy I actually forgot to hit record so I'm really really sorry guys for not recording this farm I really forgot to record it but I linked a uh, tutorial down below the tutorial I followed to build it it's a bamboo slash uh, sugarcane farm and it's working really great it's actually really easy to make it didn't take me a lot of time and it's working like a charm there is a lot of sugarcane a lot of uh, uh, bamboo so in order to fly we're gonna need two more things first a mending on my wings um, because uh, I need to keep fixing it uh, if it broke or something and second I'm gonna need gunpowder so first let's go to a village and try to trade with them uh, make a trading farm um, to get a mending so let's try to get uh, first some weapons and armors and tools And for mending I was actually <laughs> I, I it took me a lot of time and I kept resetting the, their jobs uh, it's been like it feels like an hour but I think it's been like a 16 or 17 minute and oh oh my god finally mending yay that took a lot of time give me those bookshelves that took an insane amount of time you cannot even imagine how much it took uh, let's get Menden and some other traits as well as long as we're here. And this is everything we got from the village. Uh, not a lot, actually. The uh, we, we, we got diamond armors, I mean, and diamond tools. Let's put this and mix that um, up. I don't know what I'm saying. And finally, we got diamond armors and diamond tools and diamond weapons um but the enchants are really bad so let's make an enchanted room and i made this enchanted room right here on the uh, outside so let's try to enchant some stuff and see what we can get so for the sword i need looting because i want to kill the uh, because i want to get like the the heads of uh, the uh, wither skeletons to fight a wither and get a beacon for mining you know um so the helmet is not bad the uh, and i already uh, i don't have enough xp okay um so let's put this here let's disenchant this and see what we can get i'm um, actually because i was suffering with xp so i remembered i do have a cave spider spawner here <laughs> and i made this xp farm here um it's not actually a very good xp farm but uh, it can do the job Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Go away. Go away. <sighs> um, now please drop a head. I need... Oh, yeah. Yes. And the second head. Amazing. Go away. And the third head. Perfect. That was actually really easy. Now let's just fight the Wither so we can get the Nether Star. And boom. 
that was actually really easy i didn't expect it to go that smooth now i'm building a creeper farm here above this ocean because uh if you build it above an ocean, um, you have higher chance of drops, and I messed up the circle, so let me just fix it. I also need to... Oh, I actually finished all my deep slate cobble, deep slate, this, this blocks a deep slate, so let's go mine for some. And why actually I'm here at the XP farm is because I want to make an, uh, an efficiency pickaxe so we can mine better and let's get efficiency perfect so i have two picks axes pick axes um one with efficiency three and the other with efficiency four and silk touch so let's just perfect so i think i'm gonna put the beacon here and if my calculation were right i think i will be right above the beacon perfect and bring home the beacon perfect so let's just mine a little bit now that i have enough i think let's uh, fill in this inner circle and uh, later we're gonna build a really cool um mine um, as i said it will be our own mines of moria we will build the bridge of Hazadum. we will build uh, a balrog down there we will build uh, the uh, the dwarven hall and all that it'll look really cool so yeah and now i need some carpet so let's gather all the string we got from the farm and let's make some carpet oh I don't know why these llamas are spitting on me. It's not like I killed their master or something. Don't know why they're mad. So I made some rockets because I, I'm going on a journey to find a snowy biome. Um, and thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, I need snow to create some snow golems for the farm. And I don't know any snow biome nearby. So let's go search for some. And also make a, a snow farm uh, because... Apparently there is no snow biome nearby. And we I really like flying. It's so much enjoyable. So let's just get some snow and uh, go back home. And here is a uh, farm. This is another farm actually for snow. Um, it's quite easy. Just click on middle cursor and uh, get tons of iron. So this took me a lot of time actually to build um, all these trapdoors. Thankfully, we do have a bamboo farm, which made this a lot easier. Otherwise, I had to chop down a lot of trees to get wood to make trapdoors. But uh, now it's it's actually quite easier uh, with the bamboo wood with 1.20. So that's actually a really good thing that I'm happy about. And these phantoms are really annoying. And also I finished all my cobblestone. So let's just mine for more deep slate. And let's fill in this circle. Finally the farm is up and running. And this is pushing me. Go away squid. Oh actually I need you. I need a black dye. Yes for my bed. Perfect. So I, now I need to make a uh, like storage room because all my storage is messed up and I have everything in everything and it's not enough. So I think of building it above this uh, hill, like above my house. So let's make the stairs with uh, this deep slate, uh, polished deep slate and polished stone. And yes, this is the stairway. Um, you go boom 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 and then you go above the cell and there is a creeper um, <laughs> here will be my uh, storage room so it's raining and I'm building it with the bamboo um, I will mix bamboo with deep slates I think it'll look cool cool and let's see how it looks like now wow yeah this is my storage room I actually really like it I mixed up this uh, like bamboo and deep slate and like kind of black and yellow looked really good with each other i didn't expect it to look good but it's it it's looking really great so i'm really happy with how it turned out to be um, if you guys are liking it as well please drop drop a like and comment down below to what we should build build next 
Um, now I transferred everything. So here we have wood, here we have stone, here we have ores like gold, diamonds. Here we have just some decoration blocks. Here is just trash, um, dirt, some seeds, a little bit of food and uh, some armors and weapons. And our black bed. Finally, we have a black bed, not a yellow one. I'm happy with this. And I'm eating cookie god. I mean, cookie. perfect. So this is everything we built. Um, an iron farm, uh, which gives us a lot of iron. Actually, it's working quite good. Then we built. Oh, um, then we built an uh, a, this. Uh, I forgot what it called. A glow lichen farm, which works really good as well. Let's flip it, and yeah, still working. And then uh, a snow farm, and a bamboo slash sugarcane farm. Um, which looks really good um, and this uh, it's not a farm actually but it's uh, something and also I made um, off camera this small farm here for crops um, I'm gonna build later um, a automatic farm with villagers and all um, and speaking of villagers I made kinda a villager farm here where I farm for uh, weapon and armor and mending as well and other stuff and finally this uh, actually not finally um but i made this uh creeper farm as well but finally we made the uh xp farm as well which i forgot to uh, film um lastly i'm gonna put more names here um so thank you so much for your support so i really appreciate everything you're doing for us and for this channel um, for all the support, all the love, all the subs, all the likes, the comments. I really guys appreciate it uh, so much. And if you want your name to be here on this board or like on this signs, please drop a comment down below and I will pick up some names and put them here. And this is a message for future me. Um, please, when you reach like millions of subscribers or thousands of subscribers, don't forget these people. These were the very first people that supported you and made you what you are so future me please remember all these people and appreciate them and be grateful for them and that's it guys thank you so much for enjoying this episode and for all the support and i'll see you on the next episode bye